what? Don't judge. I am wearing sunglasses because my electrician came in here and got my lights up and then we did a squirrely thing. I, <laughs> it's sure, it's unsafe what we did. You know, we, we took it so we could see the lights work. And basically we're running cords across the rainy ground out there <laughs> to power the lights in Studio B. So yeah, we're still without power over here. Uh, we don't have good, solid, reliable power, but we will be getting that soon because our box finally showed up. Our meter box is finally here. The electricians have been trying to get over here, but we've been having rain off and on for the last few days. The New Year's has happened, so we should do But that's not what this video is about, is it? This video is actually about the lights and why we did what we did over there on the wall. They did it so they could test the lights, and I've been using the piss out of it since then. And I'm sure electrically there's a problem for why I'm doing it, but you know what? I, if the circuit breaker trips, it trips. It's just how it is. So, what have we done with our lights? Well, I'm going to tell you about that right now. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you that I did that I highly recommend you doing is for whatever size space you have, go to your local uh, lighting provider in your area. There's probably, if Aiken has one, there has to be one somewhere close by you. Talk to the people that provide you your lights. They can set everything up if you're not going through a contractor. Your local contractor, if he's putting your building up and you're having him put the lights in the building, he should be able to tell you. But if you're like me and you're doing a lot of this stuff by yourself to try to save yourself a little bit of bread, do yourself a favor and go to those guys and chat with them about what you should do. Now with us, we went down there. We told them we had a 30 by 36 metal building. We had an average wall height of 12 feet. And then we also have a rafter height of about 14 feet at the center. And, you know, uh, the purlins, not purlins, whatever those things are. Oh, rafters. <laughs> yeah, not a... Not a contractor guy. Um, the rafters are angled over. So what we decided to do is we were originally going to do a three light setup in here, but we decided to go with four. And that was because of talking to the guys over there at Aiken Lighting. Those guys were great. They helped me out. And so we figured out what we needed to do. Now, what did we do? Well, we went with a bank of four eight foot lights. Now, these are Metal Lux lights. They're a really nice high end LED light. They have a frosted uh, tube over the top of the LEDs. I highly recommend doing a frosted tube if you're going to do this because it diffuses the light out just enough so that it doesn't look so harsh. Now, th another thing we had to do is we had to go with a 4000K light, and the reason for that was they, they didn't have any 3000 or 3500K LEDs. They had these, and with everything going the way it's going right now, I'm willing to go into my cameras and adjust things in order to get the right lighting color for you guys. Because oddly enough, color is kind of important in what we do. If you'll watch movies a lot, you'll see guys, you know, when they're doing videos where they're in a lab or they're in a hospital and the lighting is kind of blue. It has a blue cast to it. That's because they want it to look clinical because those brighter lights like that have that clinical feel to them. If they want you to feel a warm fuzzy, they're going to run something in the 3000 range on their lights just simply because it's a more yellow light. It's a warmer feeling light. We didn't have that option here, so we went with the 4K, which is kind of between the 3500 that we really wanted and the 5000 that we really didn't want because 5000 is just too blue. So that's why our lights look like they do. Now what I'll talk about next is knowing how to get to the right amount of light in your space. I will say this, there are programs out there that you have, you can get into that will tell you what you need to do, but they talk in different languages than what I'm used to seeing. In other words, I know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about lumens, but they don't go in lumens. There's another term for it, and you have to know how to get from lumens to that term. I just went to Aiken Lighting and said, I need bright lights. <laughs> Matter of fact, they're bright enough that our electrician said we could do brain surgery in here. I've looked at the floor. I don't think we should. Just saying, it's, it's kind of dirty. I mean, even after we put the, the cool stuff down, it still gets kind of dirty because it's sawdust. Maybe in the 1860s we could have done brain surgery, but I'm pretty sure the patient wouldn't survive. Anyway! How many lights did we put up in our 30 by 36 area? We put four 
bank slope. So we have 12 lights total. Um, and each one of those lights is on an independent switch. I don't mean each light itself, but each bank is on an independent switch. I like to be able to control the lighting if I need a little less in here or I can turn them all off. But the problem we had at the old place at Ridgemont was it was on one switch and you couldn't turn off other lights without going up and actually twisting the bulbs out of position. This way I can turn the lights off by bank if I need to in order to change the lights in here a little bit to make them whatever I need to be. Like if I'm shooting up and that bank of lights over there is in the way, I can turn them off and not have to worry about that. So that's one of the reasons why I did what I did. Another thing that we did that's an important thought process is we're fairly close to all corners of the building. In other words, our outside bank of lights is probably about four foot away from the outside wall and the end of the lights is about three and a half to four foot away from the end of the wall on the outside. What that does is it gives you good bounce. You get better bounce out of the lights. And speaking of that, don't do cheap lights. I did cheap lights over in Studio A and I am not happy with the color presentation. I'm also not happy with the flicker. Flicker can be an issue for us for filming, but it can also make your eyeballs pretty tired when you're in there working and you don't realize it, but the, it, it's affecting you on a, on a subliminal level, if you will. So make sure you get a really good quality light if you're going to be out there working a lot because your light quality is going to be really important. Realistically, that's all I have for right now. I don't think there's really any more I need to go into. I'm not going to talk about the insulation. I'm not going to talk about the flooding and I'm not going to talk about the rest of the electrical package. We're going to cover those in separate videos. Today's is the last one that you'll see on the auto rest mod format. From here on out, they're going to be separate videos that we probably throw up on Tuesdays when they come available. Um, but for right now, I want to do this one last one as an intro because we're working on the Sunday after New Year's. Cam is out. <laughs> he's probably out, like he probably went drinking with his friends or something, and, you know. All right, check out our Patreon account. At the $10 a month level, you get monthly meetings with me on Zoom. Um, and that's a bunch of us getting together, and we do tech Q&A in that as well. Uh, it's really cool. We also do videos for our Patreon guys. About once a month, we'll put a, a video up just specifically for y'all. And that is uh, little tech tips and things like that. And this is just as a thank you to our guys who are supporting us, which means they're supporting Andrew, which means that someday soon, he may be able to get off the bread and water and stop stealing booze from me. I'm just kidding. He doesn't drink that much. And in any case, also, he's shaking his head back out here at me. Subscribe to the channel. We're still trying to get 100,000 people involved. We're at 90 something, uh, 70 some thousand subscribers right now. So we're working our way. We're about 10,000 away from the 100,000 mark. There are people who've done it much quicker than me. I don't care, fine, whatever. We wanna put that silver plaque on the wall in here somewhere, probably on the Paul wall, because then you'll be able to see it because it's silver and we're gonna be painting the walls in here gray. There will be sheetrock, by the way, Paul. It's not gonna be OSB except for your special sheet of OSB. It's coming, get used to the idea, kind of warm up to it. Why don't you do me a favor, folks? Love on each other, like each other, please be kind to each other. You guys come back and we'll see you next time on Autoresto Mod. Okay, mom, this is strictly for you. This is all a joke. Andrew doesn't drink at all. See, was that pretty good? I mean, was I convincing with the drinking thing? Just